All right, everybody, we got a pretty special treat for you this morning, early this morning. We got a load of wheat here behind us that we're going to carry off to the seed cleaners and uh, going to have it clean. And this is uh, what's going to be what we plant this fall whenever it's wheat planting time again. Uh, we got uh, two different batches here. Uh, this is the first variety we're getting clean. Got about 900 bushels of it. We're going to go drop it off the seed cleaner. And we'll come back got about 500 more bushels of another variety that we're going to that we're going to take up there and get cleaned and uh, while we're up there dumping i'm going to attempt to get some video and explain the process on what it takes to take uh, wheat right out of a combine and clean it up enough in order to be able to run it through a drill this fall to plant our wheat crop But anyways, we got about a 45 minute drive to get there. We gotta be there by 7 a.m. sharp, so let's get this show on the road. All right, we just got up here to Greenfield. Pull here in the dump pit. Pretty tight squeeze here. Cause this place was built long before people were hauling grain with 18 wheelers. The first part of the process is dumping the wheat from the truck into the dump pit where it's then carried by the elevator up into a holding tank in the next room. From there it flows from the holding tank down onto the sieves. This machine has several different sieves in it that the grain flows, flows through and over. Each sieve has a screen in it with holes. The different sieves have different size holes. The top screen is designed to remove the larger trash. The bottom sieves are designed to remove your smaller particles and also lighter, smaller seed that will not germinate and grow. Beneath the screens is a wiper system that rotates back and forth across the screens to prevent larger particles and trash from plugging the holes in the screens, allowing the seed to fall through. The larger pieces of trash from the top sea fall off into this uh, holding container where it then flows down to the waste wheat auger. The smaller seeds and smaller pieces of trash are removed from the uh, from the bottom sieves and is also discarded into the waste wheat auger. Similar to a combine, the sieves have a fan blowing air upward to it to help suspend chaff and dust and remove it. Right here you can see the discarded wheat and chaff. A lot of these seeds are small, shriveled, and discolored and would never germinate. This is the waste wheat auger where all the waste from the different processes of the wheat uh, cleaning process is brought and is brought over to this holding tank to where then it can be sold uh, for different purposes, usually animal feed where it's mixed with other grains. After going through the multiple stages of the sieves, the clean grain comes out the bottom and is transported to a, another elevator. As you can see, there are no large pieces of chaff left in this seed, but there are still small sizes of seeds that need to be removed in the process to improve the germination process. This is called the gravity table. It has a perforated screen in the bottom that blows air up through it. The screen is also inclined with ridges. And the basic principle of the process is that the heavier seed will float to the bottom as the screen shakes and will be pushed uphill by the ridges in the floor. While as the lighter uh, seed, the, the smaller seeds, the ones that generally won't germinate, will then float to the top. 
Also small pieces of chaff that were not removed in the initial process will also float to the top. And because of the incline of the table, these uh, smaller seeds in the chaff will drift towards the bottom of the table. These small seeds and pieces of chaff <clears throat> are ejected off the back of the table where they are then carried to the waste weed auger. After going through the, the final cleaning process, this is the final result. Clean wheat that is free of any weed seed, any chaff, and also has a very high germination rate because the smaller shriveled seeds of wheat have been removed in the process. Generally in this cleaning process, we lose around 10% of the wheat that we brought in. Uh, this 10% consists of chaff, foreign particles, and also small seeds that don't have the capability of germinating. Now this process is not 100% perfect. During the cleaning process, some good wheat seeds are lost also. After leaving the gravity table, the wheat is then carried by another elevator over to the clean grain tank, where it is then loaded into bags. As the wheat flows from the grain tank into the bags, it is sprayed with an insecticide to prevent weevils from feeding on the seed between the time of cleaning and planting, thus keeping the germination rate high. Each of these bags holds 40 bushels of wheat or 2,400 pounds of seed. It is then carried into the warehouse where it is then stored and awaits the farmer or the seed dealer to come pick it up to where it can then be taken back to the retailer and treated with an insecticide prior to planting. I would like to give a big thanks to the Huffstetler & Sons Seed Company located in Greenfield, Tennessee for allowing me to film the seed cleaning process on their property while they were cleaning my seed. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out my other How Farm Stuff Works videos on this playlist.